Peace family, Kanja Queen here. And I just had an epiphany and I gotta share it with the family. And I want you guys to let me know what you think, okay? So I'm gonna read this passage from Shakespeare. It comes from the play Hamlet. And it says, this above all, to thine own self be true. And it must follow as the night the day, thou cannot then be false to any man. And that's the end of the quote. Now, what's interesting is I've been looking more into astrology. Like I've always been into astrology. And what I've noticed is that through reading mythology, through understanding like quotes, like I just quoted from Shakespeare, it tells us consistently through all these different, you know, metaphysical, spiritual and scientific texts. It says, be true to that thyself, be true to thyself. So what I can gather from this is that when we're not being true to our true purpose, when we're not being our true authentic selves, we feel the wrath of God or the wrath of spirit, right? Like we feel, <laughs> we feel that destructive energy coming in to break down that false ego, to have that tower moment, to make us shed the layers that are not real to us, but these are just a shell or a facade or a mask that we have learned to cultivate in order to survive in this matrix and this society and these stigmas, right? Because it's not really who you are. And so, you know, what I've come to understand is the only way that we can truly understand ourselves and for people who need clarity, people that's like, yo, what's my purpose? Why am I here? You know, what is my calling? Astrology, if I could say, if I can say that there's a book to understand life and understand yourself, because they say, you know, we don't come into this world with instructions. Yes, the hell we do. Our ancestors gave us instructions all around, but we have to learn how to tap in. We got to understand that those who are in power right now, who won't be in power for much longer, they've been intentionally withholding this precious information from you because they know that once you know self, which is the freaking... It's a freaking word that's put over in all in Egypt and all of the mystery school systems above the pyramids, above the temples. It says, man, know thyself. That's the first rule they tell you in all metaphysics and all of these spiritual mystery school systems. They tell you, you got to know yourself before you even enter through these doors. If you don't know who you are, you're not even ready to study magic. You're not even ready to know and understand healing modalities. You're not even ready to take that oath to heal others and to heal the world, the galactic, this whole entire design. You got to know yourself because it all comes back to self because there is only us. There is only you. There is only one, the one, and we are all just droplets, right? Imagine the universe, the cosmos, everything being a giant sea. Each one of us are just little drops, little droplets in a big ass ocean. Understand that. And we all come from the same source. We all are one, right? So we got to understand that we're just reflections of each other and that this is just an illusion of us experiencing this ego or individualism. But the truth of the matter is suffering ends once you realize like, yo, if I know myself, then I can know the next person. When you're being real, Anybody in here, listen, let me know. Have you ever noticed that like when you are just authentically you, that th that your energy makes people around you uncomfortable? What's happening is that your truth is disturbing the facade that they have. When you are true to yourself and you're living in your truth, people's lies cannot last around you. They crumble and fall, just like the tower movement. They can't keep that mask up. They can't keep that facade going because your energy, your truth is shining so much light on their darkness that they have no choice but to reveal who they really are. This is why even my aunt, this is the year of my aunt, 2023, talking about the number seven, add those numbers up, right? Seven is all about truth, higher truths, higher understanding. My art is all about the scales, the balancing of the scales. And I'm, I don't know, right now I'm picking up that during Libra season, a lot of truths will also be revealed. Okay. Especially this year, Libra season, a lot of truths will be revealed. It could be on a microcosmic level or a macrocosmic level. 
Okay, you might, some truths might be revealed about you. Some truths about who you are may be revealed about your family secrets, about, you know, where you come from. It could be truths about a, in a relationship, right? You think you know somebody, but sometimes you don't really know a person. And, and, and you know, we're always growing. We're always consistently shifting and morphing. But now it's time to really get to know the new you. Because those lunar eclipses and the solar eclipses that we just passed... All of that was shedding the layers that don't belong to us anymore. So now what's going to start happening is that we have to prepare ourselves for the truth. We always hear that saying like, you sure you want the truth? You're not ready for the truth. Are you really ready for the truth? The truth hurts. And you know what? People like lies. People like what feels good. People like that, you know, sugary syrup to make them feel good. But we know that the real medicine is that those bitter herbs that taste disgusting but it'll have you feeling just right. <laughs> Listen, okay? I'm telling you that when you become, when you study astrology, you start to understand who you really are and you stop being constricted into this box that doesn't serve you. The problem that a lot of people have and I've noticed is that when you're not being true to thyself, to thine own self be true, when you're going against that number one principle, universal principle, right? That applies to everybody. You have to be truthful. You have to be who you are unless you are false. You are fake. And the universe, the earth right now is getting rid of everything that is not real, that is not authentic, that is not true, that anything built on lies is being destroyed. So if everything that you've developed up till now has been a lie, and think about it, some of us are living a lie and we may not even know it. Because living a lie, let me give you an example. Living a lie, sometimes you could be unknowingly living a lie because you've been doing it for so long. You've been living for your parents, right? You've been studying in school, studying a certain subject because your parents wanted you to do it. You graduated, you, got, you went to college, got these doctors, got all of these degrees to make your family happy. Now you finally in that job, whatever your family wanted you to do, but you know that it's something in your soul that's saying like, why do I still feel incomplete? Why does it feel like something's still missing? Why do I feel like, you know, I'm living a different life. I'm living a life that doesn't belong to me. And so we see it, majority of the population is living a lifestyle that does not suit them because either they're trying to impress others instead of really just being true to thyself, right? Be true to thyself. And social media is also poison because people are consistently comparing themselves to everybody else. Just because this person is living fancy and they got all of this expensive clothing and, and all of this other stuff, it doesn't necessarily mean that that lifestyle is for you. You don't know how they got that. You don't even know if that's theirs. Everything isn't what it seems. But this too will be revealed. This too will be revealed. Understand, too, that your truth will shine the light for others. This is why children are so loved. This is why they're so innocent. Like, children will really tell you how they feel. You feel me? Like, children are very honest. They are true to themselves. Like, when we're kids, we know who we are. And then even when you go and you, like, when you, when you have conversations, and I have this gift where random people will walk up to me and tell me their whole life story. Feel me? And I and I gather this intel and what I notice is that a lot of people, when they think back on their childhood, they think back like, yo, I always wanted to be an actress, right? And then when you ask them like, well, what did you want to be when you was a kid? An actress. It comes back around again. It comes like that what's meant for you will always come back for you. What's meant for you, is it can never leave you. It will always keep coming back. It will always keep nudging at you until you finally answer the call. And for those of us who are spiritualists, who are healers, shamans, who, who have the gift to see beyond the light, you understand that spirit called us to this path. Those who know, know. Real recognize real, right? Y'all know that saying. Real recognize real. And that's why people who done the work can discern between who is real in these spiritual streets and who is fraudulent out here. It's a lot of fugazi people out here, but you have to use your discernment. And for the people that get tricked and fooled, it's because your discernment is not up to par. You don't really know yourself because when you know yourself... You can't be tricked. 
your intuition is on point. You're like, nah, I don't need no nah, I don't need no type of physical evidence to prove that my intuition is trying to tell me. I trust my intuition. I don't need concrete proof. Whatever this feeling that I'm having, I trust it. I know myself. Myself knows that there's something that's about this interaction, about this situation, about this person or whatever that is not resonating with my spirit. I got to remove myself immediately. You got to have that level of confidence. Because you know what's the most attractive thing ever? They tell you that the most attractive feature ever is confidence. Confidence. What does confidence come from? Confidence is when you believe in yourself. It's when you know yourself. You're like, yo, this is who I am. This is how I'm re representing myself to be. I am that I am. Confidence. You know yourself. It's a certain level of power. That's why there's some people that could walk into a room and they just exude this energy of power, of, of confidence, of fire, like the sun. They're like, yo, I know myself. I'm here. They don't shrink themselves. They let their, they are not afraid to take up space in a room. And that's the, that's the space that we have to get to. It's like studying astrology, learning about yourself, learning about Listen, this is a, this is a, y'all know I give y'all homework, okay? If you are new to astrology, even if you've been studying astrology for a very long time, I would recommend that you look up astrology videos or learn or read astrology blogs about your chart. You can do a free natal chart, type in your birthday. If you don't know the time, that's cool. You can still figure out where the planets are. You just won't know the houses and that's okay. If you do know the time, even better, you can get more specific with it. You're gonna go, you're gonna go online, type in free natal charts and type in your birthday, where you was born, the time if you know it, and then it's gonna pull up your astrology map, where the stars were aligned in the sky when you was born and you came into existence in this physical reality, right? Or when you came out of your mom's body, the canal. So when you came into this life, the stars were aligned a certain way. And based upon how the heavens or the gods or the spheres, the planets were aligned, it says a lot about your personality, your hopes, your goals, your dreams, your fears, your desires, pretty much everything that makes you who you are, right? And this is the instruction in life that God or spirit gave you. It's the stars. It's saying, yo, look to the stars and they'll tell you where to go. They will guide you when you are lost, right? So... We need to go within and look at the stars, look at our inner stars. We are a star, right? Look at ourselves and ask ourselves, okay, what does my natal chart say about me? For instance, I'm going to give you guys examples and I wrote some things down. If you have a Venus in Cancer, right? A Cancer Venusian. This means that the planet of love, which is Venus, was in the sign of Cancer when you was born. Now, this means that in love, you might be more clingy. You might fall in love very easily. You might be very emotional with it, right? Very intuitive. Like you need that deep connected form of love. You need that stable love, like that the, the that typical romantic lovey-dovey type of love. Like that's the type of love that a Venus Cancer person would like. And this also depends on a lot of other astrological placements like your sun sign, moon sign, rising, and all the other stuff. But we're not getting into that. Now... You know, let's say that you have a Venus in Cancer and you're really a lovey-dovey like person, like you're a real idealistic love bird. That's what you are, right? Like you live for love. If you live in a society that forces you to suppress your feelings, to act cold, to act like you don't give up, okay, it, it is going against your true self because now you're you're portraying a mask in order to not wear your heart on your sleeves knowing that that's how you really love and then you'll ask yourself you know what imagine if people really loved fully in the beginning instead of holding back and this the, the, the look at the thing tweaking again imagine if right imagine if people loved fully they love fully without holding back. Imagine if people just put their best foot forward and they didn't feel the need to be like, oh, I don't need to have feelings. Oh, I don't need to be cold. Imagine you would really expose people for who they really are because you're being a genuine, true self instead of holding back. Because when you hold back in the beginning, like we're taught to, right? 
when you hold back in the beginning, you're also giving a, the other person past to hold back on who they really are. Because people can feel when you're holding back. And when you feel somebody holding back, what do, what do you do? You naturally hold back. But when somebody is open with love and they're like, yo, this is who I am. Like, I'm just open. I'm free. Like, take me as I am. Like, it's a refreshing feeling. That's why we love children because they are who they are. They're, they're not letting society stop them from being who they want to be. This shit is tweaking right now, but I don't even care because this message got to get out, son. Like, yo, you ever notice, like, I feel like when I channel, it throws off the technology. Like, weird shit be happening with my phone, shit be glitching. Y'all too, or is it just me? Glitching, that's how I know this, this energy is, is real. And it's not just Mercury retrograde. Like, this is, this is real energy channeling through right now. You got to start being true to yourself. You got to stop hiding who you really are. Like... You got to love fully, like live fully, and just be authentically yourself. And honestly, you know, the only reason why we're not who we really are is because either we forgot who we are because we started living for other people or we we're afraid of what other people may think of us. Maybe we did show our, our true selves to people. Or maybe it got dismissed. Maybe it got ridiculed. Maybe it got teased. Maybe anything could have happened. And then you, it, it, it subconsciously taught you that. I'm not safe to be who I really am because if I show my true feelings or who I really am, I'm just going to get hurt. And the brain is, the mind is such an intelligent, it's such an amazing thing that it will do whatever it can to protect itself from pain. So you've taught yourself subconsciously to avoid being truly authentically yourself because you've equated being yourself with being hurt because of that. Loving fully equals hurt, right? Loving or being myself equals pain or being tormented or feeling this feeling I don't want to feel. But the truth is we can reprogram our minds to be like, no, you know what? I'm going to be authentically me because at the end of the day, there's nobody else out here like me. Like there's nobody who could do it like me. There's nobody who looks like me. Like I may have clones. I may have all of this shit, but you got to be like, yo, it is just one me. And I'm going to live this life the best way that I can because guess what people going to talk about you regardless people going to make shit up about you people like people are going to talk do you boo do you people going to lie about you people going to try to dig up shit that from your past to try to bring you down it's like at the end of the day when you know yourself you be like yo yeah I did that yo that's who I used to be like yeah so what like this is who I am now Nobody is perfect out here. And I think that everybody is so like trying to be perfect, trying to portray this, this facade, not being true to themselves. That's where the pain comes in. Pain comes from being fake. That's why real people cannot stand fake people. It's annoying. Empaths can't, they can't take the energy of being fake for too long. That's why they don't like crowds. That's why they don't like, you know, those reunions with like classmates and stuff. Because a lot of the times, all of that stuff is just, it's just aesthetics. It's fake. It's, it's superficial. It's not real. And it's like, as we're going deeper and deeper into this rabbit hole, and we're going deeper and deeper in this, this new dimension, time is speeding up consciousness is waking up people are realizing who they really are the masks are falling off and breaking okay because before they was just kind of slipping off and people was just putting them right back on but it's like nah your mask is off it broke you can't put it back on now everybody can see your face everybody can see who you are and be proud of who you are be true to thyself Study your astrology. Look up videos and learn about like your Venus sign. Learn about like your moon sign, your rising sign. Like learn about your mid heaven. Like it tells you a lot about like your destiny and what you come here to do, your career, right? Like the keys are there. Our ancestors been showed it to us there, but we have to seek it. What you are seeking is seeking you. Understand that. You guys, I woke up in a mood today. I was like, nah, let me turn this camera on. Let me start channeling because y'all need to know what's going on in these in these ethers. And 
somebody needed that message you know somebody needed to receive that like be true to yourself remember who you really are stop wearing this mask like after a while that mask that costume that you're wearing that armor that you're wearing whatever it is it's like it's getting heavy it's getting real heavy now isn't it aren't you ready to just drop that mask and drop all of that unnecessary weight off of you aren't you tired of holding up this fake image because you know what's even better like you're better than this fake image you created like you're amazing nobody else can nobody else can duplicate that nobody else can so it's time that you release those false layers and be authentically you boo do you boo and that's the message that i have for today but listen family like i always say the way that i begin these downloads i really be sitting down talking to my ancestors like they be the ones being teaching me all of this shit they teach me i sit down i absorb i reflect i let the the, the information metabolize you feel me like i really absorb that information and then i'm able to break it down and teach about it and talk about it on my platform like everything i talk about is really just like life lessons things that i go through guys messages that i receive and if you if listen i always tell y'all like yo talk to your ancestors talk to your spirit guys like meditate every day set your intentions for the day stop letting life just just play with you like you are in control of this shit wake up in the morning set your intention say yo today's gonna be a good day today this is good i'm gonna get some good news this is what's gonna happen today i'm setting my intentions i'm in control of this shit i'm in control of me and my destiny i know who i am and as long as you stay within that sphere of self knowing thyself you will always be protected and covered come on your manifestation is gonna happen easy easy be true to thyself I do have, listen, this is what I will say. If you don't know how to work with your ancestors, you need to learn how to work with them, guys. And I always talk about it in my videos, burning ancestor money, how to channel your ancestors, how to channel your guides. Like I said, I have classes on this for people that need step-by-step -step guidance, want to know how to feed your ancestors, because there's different elements that go into it, right? Like you can't just work with your ancestors and you're not feeding them like you can't just activate them and not feed them it's like you woke them up now you gotta you gotta give them something to do right like you gotta give energy direction if energy doesn't have direction it just sits and energy not moving is an abomination like everything vibrates everything moves as soon as something goes against universal principle universal law you have to you have to feel the wrath of god and that's what i call it the wrath <laughs> the wrath of spirit when you when you lie when you break a promise when you go against your truth you are going to experience the wrath of god this is where you put your heart on the scale back in the comedic mystery schools putting the heart on the scale being weighed and being consumed by amit is it amit yes being consumed by amit where the beast will come and devour your heart so it's literally saying that you will experience the wrath of God if you are not being true to thyself. If you're not being honest with who you are and what you really want. So many people are in situations that they don't really like because they're living a lie. But when you live in your truth, you're going to be exactly where you need to be because you are in harmony with the universe. The universe is true. Going against the current, going against the grain, who you, who's really hurting who? You hurting you. Shit is crazy. But anyway, like I said, family, if you want to learn how to feed your spirits, if you want to learn how to channel with them, because like I said, there's some things that books and, and videos and stuff like that can't teach you. Like you got to get the keys and the tools from your ancestors and they can unlock things in your blood and your memory and the subconscious that these books and videos can't do. This is how I, I'm able to do what I do because I'm tapped in. And for those who are also tapped in, you're going to also get... <laughs> You're gonna get you gonna get some downloads that I'm telling you, like other people are not gonna get. This is spirit is the plug. You feel me? Spirit is the plug. And I'm just simply the outlet, giving that energy and helping you guys channel. Like we all we all can tap in. We all can tap in. But yeah, like I said, guys, if you want to learn how to tap into your ancestors, spirit guides, and learn how to channel and get these divine messages that you can't get anywhere else but from source, I do have classes. Check it out in my link. I'll drop it below. It's also in my bio. And don't forget to subscribe, guys. Hit that bell. 
if you're watching this on YouTube and if you're on Instagram, don't forget to follow me. Hit that heart button. Um, and yeah, pretty much drop, drop your comments, guys. Let me know, like, do you also feel that when you are truthful to yourself that it also disturbs the energy around you? What do you notice when you're just honest with yourself, when you're living in your truth? What have you learned studying your astrological natal chart? Like, what have you discovered about you? Be true to yourself, to thine own self, be true. I say family. Until next time. Peace.